Previously, in chapter 11, we have been discussing about the surface areas of various uh, solid objects like the surface area of a cylinder, of a cone, and the surface area of uh, a sphere and hemisphere. Okay. Now, we move on to the next part of this chapter, which is the volumes part. So, we are going to talk about the, the volume of a cone and a sphere. So, I'll give you the formulae for the volumes of a cone and also for the volume of a sphere and uh, um, in this particular video we will focus only on some exercise problems uh, related to the volume of a cone okay so let us uh, start our discussion for volumes by uh, recalling the formula for the volume of a cylinder uh, which has a certain radius r for its base and a certain height h so we have a cylinder here uh, which the base radius is, is r and the height of the cylinder is h and in that case with those parameters radius r and height h the volume of the cylinder is given as pi r square h okay and uh, we want to keep this uh, formula uh, in our discussion because the volume of a cone is uh, related to the volume of the cylinder or uh, of the same radius and height so we'll talk about that so once we have the for formula for the volume of the cylinder as pi r square h uh, now we come to the formula formula for the volume of a cone which has a base radius r and a height h so the base radius of the cone is r and it has a height h and in that case the volume of the cone is given by the formula 1 by 3 pi r square h okay now uh, of course as we have seen in the uh, in in our discussion for the surface areas, uh, the cone also has a slant edge. Okay, rather than uh, other than the height h, it also has a slant height, uh, which is called as l. And sometimes instead of uh, giving the height h directly to calculate the volume, uh, sometimes we may be given the radius r and the slant height l. And that, that means in that case, we have to calculate the height h in order to calculate the volume of the cone. And of course, we know uh, from Pythagoras theorem, the formula for uh, finding L is simply L square is equal to uh, square root of R square plus h square, right? Now, L square is R square plus h square or we can write L as the uh, square root of R square plus h square so using this we can calculate uh, if uh, h is not given to us then we can calculate h using this formula okay so in that case h square will be l square minus r square or h will be square root of uh, l square minus r square so we can uh, we've, we've done this before so uh, we can use the same uh, method if the height h of the cone is not given to us directly uh, suppose the r the radius r and the and the slant height l is given then we can compute the height h from this expression here and uh, then substitute the value of the height h in the formula for the volume okay now if we compare these two formulae for the volume of the cylinder and the volume of the cone we see that the pi r square h is the uh, common uh, common term here so the volume of the cylinder is pi r square h and the volume of a cone is 1 by 3 pi r square h. In other words, we can say that uh, for the same values of the radius r and the height h, uh, the volume of a cone is one third of the volume of the cylinder. Or in other words, we can state that the volume of the cylinder will be three times the volume of the cone, given that the radius and the height are the same for both the cases. Okay, so. Uh, for the same value of r and h there is a relationship between the volume of the cylinder and the volume of the cone whereby the volume of the cone is one third of the volume of the cylinder in other words if we had to uh, if if we if we had to fill a cylinder uh, with some liquid uh, it it will contain three times the volume of the uh, of the cone okay we can fill the cylinder uh, three times with with a cone of the same radius and height okay that's what it means okay and next we will see the formulae for the volume of a sphere and hemisphere so for a sphere we have only one parameter which is the radius of the sphere so for a particular radius r the volume of the sphere is given as 
4 by 3 pi r cube and uh, equivalently the volume of a hemisphere is going to be exactly half of the volume of the sphere because a hemisphere is exactly half of the sphere so therefore the volume of the hemisphere is uh, 2 by 3 pi r cube which is nothing but uh, I can write it separately here it is half of the volume of the sphere uh, so it is half of 4 by 3 pi r cube so 2 and 4 will go 2 times so we get it as 2 by 3 pi r cube which is what we have in our formula for the uh, volume of the hemisphere which is 2 by 3 pi r cube so for the same radius r the volume of the hemisphere is half of the volume of the sphere or conversely we can state that the volume of the sphere is two times the volume of the hemisphere okay so with all the uh, formulae at hand we can now proceed with uh, solving some of the numerical examples or exercise problems uh, from exercise 11.3 which deals with the volumes of uh, conical shapes okay so uh, I'm going to do question numbers 1 to 5 in this particular video and then uh, in a subsequent video I will do the rest of the exercise problems and later on uh, subsequently we will move on to the volumes of sphere and hemisphere okay so the focus of this particular video is going to be uh, volume of uh, conical shapes okay so the first problem from exercise 11.3 is to find the volume of a cone whose radius is six centimeters and the height is seven centimeters so we basically apply the formula for the volume of the cone and uh, solve and ca calculate the volume of the cone so first of all we are given that the radius r is six centimeters and the height h is seven centimeters and we know that the volume of the cone uh, the formula is one by three pi r square h so that is one by three pi is 22 over seven into r square r is six so it is six into six it's r square so we multiply six twice and the height is 7 we just uh, solve this and we get our answer for the volume of the cone so we will have this uh, 7 and 7 cancelling out this 3 will go here two times so we have 22 into 6 into 2 which is basically 264 uh, centimeter cube so that will be equal to uh, 22 into 6 into 2 which is 200 and 64 centimeter cube okay so that's the uh, volume of the cone for these given dimensions so it's fairly straightforward you just have to so we just have to substitute uh, the different parameters given to us into the formula for the volume and uh, calculate perform the calculations and we get the answer uh, 264 centimeter cube as the volume of the cone it is centimeter cube because the uh, dimensions given to us uh, for the radius and the height are in centimeters so the volume is in uh, centimeter cube okay now let's do the uh, second problem uh, where we are again we're going to calculate the volume but the question is framed in a slightly different way so we are asked to find the capacity in liters of a conical vessel with radius 7 centimeters and the slant height uh, is given as 25 centimeters and whenever we are asked to find capacity capacity means volume okay uh, it, volume basically means what is the quantity of uh, substance that can be occupied in that shape okay so capacity is basically uh, referring to volume so we are given that the uh, shape of the container or the vessel is a conical shape it has a radius of seven centimeters so given radius uh, r is 7 centimeters and the slant height is given that means l is given as 25 centimeters so we need to first find the height h so h will be we have seen earlier the height h is uh, square root of 
L square minus R square. So that will be square root of uh, 25 square minus 7 square. So that is going to be uh, square root of 25 square is 625 minus uh, 7 square is 49. So we'll get uh, H, the height H as square root of 576. That is 625 minus 49 is 576. So that gives us square root of 576 is 24. 24 into 24 is 576. So square root of 576 is 24. So we have now obtained the height H. So now we can substitute uh, the, the values in the formula for the volume of the cone. So the vessel is conical vessel. So we, we, we will use the formula for the uh, volume of the cone. Volume of cone is 1 upon 3 pi r square h uh, which is equal to 1 over 3 into pi is 22 over 7 into r the radius r is 7 centimeters so it is uh, going to be into 7 into 7 that's r square and the height h is 24 so we just need to make this calculation and we will have the volume of the cone for these given dimensions so we will have the 7 cancelling out with this 7 uh, 3 will go into this 24 8 times so we have 22 into 7 into 8 as our answer so which is going to be 1 2 3 2 centimeter cube uh, so 22 into 7 into 8 is 1232 uh, centimeter cube okay but uh, the question it is asking us to find the volume in liters so we have to apply the conversion from centimeter cube to liters so basically uh, one liter the conversion we have to use is uh, one liter is equal to 1000 centimeter cube so the volume in liters is So we have to convert uh, from centimeter cube to liters so therefore we have to divide the centimeter cube volume by 1000 so that will be 1 2 3 2 divided by 1000 so that will give us 1.232 liters 1.232 liters okay so we have used the conversion here for from um, from centimeter cube to liter by using the relationship one liter is 1000 centimeter cube and that is a, a relationship that you should remember okay so sometimes we will be asked to find the volume in liters or kiloliters so in that case we need to be uh, knowing this relationship this conversion from liters to centimeter cube and centimeter cube to liter uh, so uh, one liter is thousand centimeter cube that means uh, 1, 2, 3, 2 centimeter cube will be 1, 2, 3, 2 divided by 1000. So 1.232 liters. Okay. Again, that's a fairly straightforward problem. The only uh, difference here is that the height H uh, was not given to us directly. We had the slant height L and the radius R. And by uh, using the Pythagoras uh, formula, we computed the value of the height H. And then we obtained the volume in centimeter cube and thereafter we converted the centimeter cube to liters okay so that's again a fairly uh, straightforward problem uh, let's move on to the next problem here also um, in this case instead of uh, calculating the volume uh, we are given the volume and we're asked to find the radius of the base of the cone so the height of the cone is given as 15 centimeters the volume is given as 1570 centimeter cube and we have to find the radius of the base so let's write down first what is given so the given is volume equals 1570 centimeter cube uh, height h is given h equals 15 centimeter we have to find r so r is the variable the component that we don't know so all we have to do in this case is 
Uh, again, we'll write the formula for volume of the cone. So we know the formula for the cone uh, volume is 1 by 3 by r square h. And we just substitute all the parameters that are known to us in this equation. So the volume is known to us as 1570. So in place of volume, we will put 1570. And that is 1 by 3. And pi is 22 over 7. So we can use the value of pi as 22 over 7. But uh, we are given in the question to use the value of pi. Uh, use pi as 3.14 okay i forgot to write that it's mentioned in the question that we have to use the value of pi as 3.14 so in place of pi we will write uh, 3.14 into r square so r is not known to us we have to find the value of the radius r so we'll keep the r as 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 it is so it's r square into the height h is given as 15 centimeters so we just need to rearrange this equation by keeping r square on one side and all the other uh, terms on the other side so you know we can rewrite this expression as r square as 1570 uh, we are going to take the 3 to the other side so from the denominator if it goes on the other side of the equal sign it will go to the numerator so it will become into 3 and the terms which are in the numerator here when they are moved to the other side of the equality they will go to the denominator so it will be uh, divided by uh, 3.14 into 15 so we just need to uh, simplify this so uh, we will have uh, this 3 going into this 15 five times and then we can have this 5 uh, going in 1570 uh, 5 threes are 15, 5 ones are uh, 5, the remainder is 2, and 2 zero 20, so it's 5 fours are 20. So we will have it as uh, 3 1 4, 3 1 4 divided by uh, 3 point 1 4, 3 point 1 4. So this is, this is basically equal to uh, 100. 314 divided by 3.14 so we have uh, two decimals here so 3.14 into 100 is 314 so 314 divided by 3.14 is 100 so we have uh, the value of r square as 100 so therefore r is going to be square root of 100 which is 10 and since all our uh, dimensions are in centimeters, so the radius r is also going to be in centimeters. So we have obtained the value of the radius r as 10 centimeters. Okay, so that is the solution for this problem where uh, we were given the volume and uh, the height and we were asked to find the radius of the base. Okay, so basically we just uh, substitute the uh, the, 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 the given values into the formula. So when we are asked this kind of problems, uh, just write the formula and put in all the values that are given to us and keep the unknown parameter as it is and then rearrange the expression uh, by bringing the unknown parameter on the left hand side and all the known parameters on the right hand side and simplify and solve that. Okay, So we have obtained the value, radius, uh, value of the radius as 10 centimeters here. Okay, uh, let's move on to the next problem. Uh, again, here uh, we are given the volume of uh, of a right circular cone. Again, all the cones that we have been seeing in this chapter are all right circular cones. So the volume of the cone given to us is 48 centimeter cube. That's the volume. And the height is given as 9 centimeters. We are asked to find the diameter of its base. So let's write down... Uh, all the parameters that are given to us so we know the volume is given volume equals 48 pi centimeter cube uh, the height h is given h is 9 centimeters and the formula for volume is volume is 1 by 3 pi r square h uh, 
so what is given to us volume is given so that's 48 pi is the volume and 1 by 3 uh, pi is uh, we'll keep it as pi as it is in this case because we also have a pi in the volume so when we rearrange this expression the pi and pi will cancel out so we'll keep the pi as it is okay and uh, r square the r value is not given to us so we'll keep the r square as it is r square into the height h is given as nine centimeters so now we can rearrange this uh, expression so we will have r square on one side uh, so it will be 48 pi uh, when we take the 3 to the other side it will get uh, go to the numerator so it's 48 pi into 3 uh, and when we bring the pi and the 9 to the other side of the equal sign they will come to the denominator so we'll have it divided by uh, pi into 9 so now what we get is uh, we have this pi and pi cancelling out and uh, this 3 goes into 9 3 times and uh, the 3 here goes into 48 uh, 16 times okay so we have r square as simply 16 uh, so from that we can calculate the value of r so we have r square equals 16 so therefore we will have r as the square root of 16 which is 4 centimeters okay so we have obtained the volume the, the value for the radius of the base as 4 centimeters but be careful not to uh, leave it at that point because we are asked to find the diameter of the base okay so from the radius we can find the uh, diameter so diameter Uh, we'll call it as d is two times the radius right so d is two times r which is two into four so that will be eight centimeters okay so now we have calculated the value of the diameter d as eight centimeters again uh, a trick here is uh, when we have uh, the volume or for that matter any other parameter uh, given with a value in terms of pi keep the pi as it is and uh, more often than not what you will see is that uh, during the calculation the pi will get cancelled out uh, somewhere so that will actually simplify your calculations okay so if you keep the pi as it is you will see that the pi just cancels out with some other pi and uh, eventually your calculation will become much sim uh, simpler okay so when you notice that uh, volume or surface area whatever parameter is given in terms of pi keep the pi as it is it will actually help you in simplifying your calculations okay and we will move on to do one more uh, ex exercise problem from this particular exercise uh, which is question number five from this exercise which is uh, given as a conical pit of a top diameter having 3.5 meters and the depth is 12 meters so it's basically a cone which is inverted upside down so you now we have we are given that the diameter of that uh, conical pit is uh, 3.5 meters and the depth is 12 meters so in other words the depth is nothing but uh, looking it's basically the height uh, looking at it in the in inverted way so the height basically is 12 meters here so we are asked to find what is the capacity or in other words the volume of that conical shape and we are asked to do so in kiloliters okay so let's first write down what all is given to us so given is the diameter d is uh, 3.5 meters so that means the radius is half of the diameter so therefore uh, radius r is going to be 3.5 divided by 2 uh, we can keep it as it is uh, 3.5 divided by 2 which is 1.75 okay we can make it 1.75 1. also or we can keep it as it is as uh, uh, 3.5 by 2 so let's write down as 1.75 meters so that's the radius 
the height is given in terms of the depth so height and depth mean the same thing so the height h is basically uh, 12 meters and uh, we are asked to find the volume which is the capacity of the cone so uh, volume of cone is 1 over 3 pi r square h okay so we just have to supply our values to this formula and solve it to get the volume of the cone so it's 1 over 3 into pi is 22 over 7 into r square r is 1.75 so it's 1.75 into 1.75 into the height h is 12 so we just need to uh, compute make this calculation and we will have the volume of the cone in meter cube because all the dimensions given to us are in meter so the volume will be in meter cube so we can simplify this uh, so we'll have uh, this 3 going into 12 four times and uh, we can see if 7 goes in this 175 so 7 2s are 14 yeah that goes there so 7 will go here 0 0.72s are 14 the remainder is 3 and so 35 so we'll have 7 5s are 35 so it's 22 into 1.75 into uh, 0 0.25 into 4 but we can see that uh, so it's 22 into 1.75 into 0 0.25 into 4 and clearly uh, 0 0.25 into 4 is nothing but 1 okay 4 into 0 0.25 is 1 so this particular product here uh, is equal to 1 so we will have 22 into 1.75 into 1 so it is basically uh, 22 into 1.75 and so the answer is going to be uh, 38.5 meter cube okay so that's 38.5 meter cube but we are asked to find the volume in kiloliters so we have to use the conversion from meter cube to uh, kiloliters so what is the relationship between meter cube and kiloliters now the conversion is one liter uh, or one kiloliter for that matter one kiloliter is equal to one meter cube so therefore so using this relationship we will have the volume the volume in kiloliters equals uh, the same as the meter cube because one meter cube is equal to one kiloliter so therefore 38.5 meter cubes is going to be 38.5 kiloliters okay so let me write that l properly so we have uh, now found the volume in kiloliters again these are all uh, uh, minor things of uh, conversions uh, from your earlier classes that you are expected to know and remember so sometimes you'll need to calculate in liters uh, so you might need to convert from centimeter cube to liters or from centimeter cube to kiloliter or meter cube to kiloliter and so on so these conversions you are expected to know so uh, you have to read the question carefully and make sure you have uh, calculated and written your answer in the units uh, in which the answer is expected of you okay so you have done question numbers one to five from the volume of the cones part of the exercise uh, the rest of the uh, exercise problems i will solve in my next video and thereafter in subsequent videos we'll go on to do the volumes of spheres and hemispheres